hello YouTube welcome back to the bison workshop I'm Bob and today we've got one of these that we just accumulated it's a um, one of them um, pumps sub pumps that pumps water out of your basement or wherever you don't want water and I plugged it up and it tried to grunt so I'm going to plug it up here and show you the grunt. Needs bearings, I believe. Or cleaned up inside and greased. I don't know yet. We'll find out when we get there. It sounded a little wobbly. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart. And I've got my screwdriver here, so let's go ahead and eliminate this switch. And let me get a screwdriver that's actually good. Somebody's rounded the inside of the head of that thing, that's why it needs a special screwdriver. Thank God it came out. That won't be the screw that goes back in it. All right, so now we can get this off of the bench. Get that clear out of our way. All right. So now, flip her over here and let's see what we got going on here. Another Phillips screw. First thing you want to do, take your old trusty pocket knife. If you're watching this, you have a pocket knife that's been used for everything in the sun. Clean the tip of those uh, screws out. They're already in there tight enough. You don't want to push the boundary by trying to uh, push sand down in there or dirt or whatever you want this thing to grip all right we're gonna have to break out some bad boys here we're gonna break out the master <laughs> Find a good fitting bit. That one fits pretty good. Let's try the ratchet first. Actually, I want to use the screwdriver. I'm going to turn that around to where I can use my waist. Push up against it. Pull on it. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Been sitting in water and everything else for a long time. Man, I tell you, I love this uh, nut driver. Then you put a ratchet in the end of it, just like a socket. All right. Those are good with that. Now let's see what we got here. That off. Yeah, that thing's been laying around for a while. It looks like it's going to be cleanable. It's flaking right off. So cool. Well, the propeller is messed up. So we have a choice. We can try a straight screwdriver first. too hard, which it ain't. Uh, but not coming up 
foul there for some reason. Hmm. Well, I think the whole thing is turning. Yeah, I think the motor is turning, so let me empty this stuff out into the trash can here. Now we see what's going on here. I'm hoping when I pull this other plate, the underneath of it, it's got another plate with three Phillips screws here. Now these are going to scare me. Yeah, these are going to scare me. They've been through rougher treatment. be damned. I'm hoping the whole armature and all comes out of it like this. We'll find out. Never taken one of these apart before. I don't think. Not that I recall. Yeah, I think I did take one apart one time. But I don't remember. It's been so damn long ago. Same thing, it's got grease and stuff down in there. And that'll keep your screwdriver from seating. And then that's what causes rounded off uh, screws. And that's a good idea to tap it, just to make sure you're down in there nice and tight. I'm actually surprised all these screws come out like they did. They don't normally come out that easy. Alright, now I gotta figure out how they plugged up. <laughs> well, I think only two of these are hot, so I think I should be okay. But, I hope these are long enough. Yeah, okay, they're, they're marked two blacks and a green. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it means these two here, one's neutral and one's hot. And the other one's ground. A lot of water in that bad boy. It needs to blow it out. So now we have to take that part apart. All right, I think that we got a workable, we know that it's got power, and you know, most people would look at this and say, man, that thing's so rusty. But what they fail to realize is it's not as bad as it looks. It looks worse than it really is. Watch this. That stuff just flakes right up off of there. All it is is just caked on, looks like clay. And that will clean up really nice with a wire brush. And I'll have this thing looking like a brand spanking 
freaking new one. Take the O-ring out so you don't destroy it. Of course, when we put it back, we're going to put a little, just a dad bit of RTV gasket maker down in that groove and just skim it really thin on the top so that when this all goes back together, it'll be sealed really good. So, uh, I'm not going to wire wheel this on camera. I'm going to clean it up and then I'll come back and show you the uh, uh, putting back together part. Now, if I get to the point where I need to make this thing, God, I don't know how the hell that would ever happen. I'm probably going to have to modify this to refit the shaft. But i got to figure out a way to hold the shaft from this end somehow so that I can turn that screw out because it's turning the whole armature. So... But if I run into something I think you guys should see, I will be glad to put it on video for you. But until then, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we've got it cleaned up. Took a toothbrush to it. Wire brush, and I done started putting a little bit of paint on it. But uh, that thing is in immaculate shape. It don't look like any rust took anything off of it. I don't think it was rust. But that's the way it cleaned up before I even, I haven't, I haven't even sprayed this part. It don't look much different than that up there. So now we get to uh, spray it. Alrighty then, now we've got paint on it, and uh, we'll let that dry, and then we'll put a second coat on it, and the rest of this stuff's going to clean up really nice, only thing I'm worried about is the motor, so I guess we'll get started on that motor. Alright, now we get to tackle the motor. Um, this here spins on the, on the uh, shaft of the armature, so we got to figure out how to hold the armature while we take this quarter inch screw out. So, in order to do that, because it's flat on the bottom here, then uh, we're going to have to take these off. 
at the star bit. And grab a hold of it with a pair of um, vice grips. So we're going to grab that with vice grips and hope it's not too awful hard to get off. I guess that screws all the holes that tight. No, it ain't. I see it's got flat spots on each side of that shaft. Or no, on one side of that shaft. And inside of that is totally round. So. I have no clue how I'm going to make it. Or how I'm going to do that. All right, well, first thing we're going to do is clean that up. So we know we're going to get it working. I have no doubts I can get it working. Um, it's a good possibility that I can take some plastic epoxy, fill that thing in, and maybe smear just a dad bit of um, grease around this part here. This is just thinking. Fill that hole in with epoxy and then press that down on there and hold it flat until it dries. The grease will keep it from adhering to this is what I'm thinking. And then we can pull this back out, drill the hole back out. And I think that would work, but to make sure that I have added strength for the turning process, I don't know how much torque this thing takes, but what I'm going to do, since I'm going to epoxy it, I'm going to take me a little tiny drill bit, and I'm going to drill a little hole right here in between every one of these, right into that shaft. All right, a real, just a small one. Basically, what that's going to do is going to fill this up. You'll have your flat spot that's on this. Plus, what squeezes out, if you hold your finger on this end while you're doing that, pushing it in, it will push it out those holes. So then you're going to have spiders sticking in there that's going to also give you extra uh, holding power. You know, the epoxy gets hard, it would be like a spider in there. You know, spreading out like that, and it would help with the load. It's just a thought. That don't mean that that's actually the case. But this is just plastic. Hard plastic. So that's what my plan is anyway. Now, right now, we're going to clean all this up. And... Uh, Get this all cleaned up, get this cleaned up, and get this cleaned up. So, we'll see how that works. So basically, it goes just like that. So, we'll clean them up, and we'll be back. 